This is Console TX here for the January 14th, 2019 Heat Signature Daily Challenge. Today we're playing as Hamal Bear, who is weak, has a regular concussive gun, and wants to steal some stuff without setting off alarms, which means that this loud concussive gun is a little bit awkward. And the fact that we're weak, and this is our only weapon. So hopefully the first room is a bunch of people who also have guns that I can steal and shoot people with. Uh, Hamal Bayer is also glitch sick, which makes his swappers less useful, but and has some irrelevant other traits. But it looks like all of these guys have guns, so that's good. And the alarm response is not going to matter because I'm not going to set off the alarm. There's a jammer and a defender. The j defender is scary, the, j uh, the jammer is not, because using these teleporters is going to be a sort of precise, rare affair. It's only going to be to like skip some obstacles and only on people who are like alone or if I need to dodge a bullet in absolute emergency. Wow, that was a disastrously bad uh, docking approach. This should be a non-issue, though, because I will just pop that guy, yoink his gun, blast him, yoink his gun using the gun pickup manual, the manual pickup button, and then be on my way. Zoop this sentry, grab this gun, zoop this sentry. Looks like I got a another swapper. And the level 2 keycard is protected by a defender who I have no way to deal with. And I can't lure him out because that would set off an alarm. So my only recourse is to swap with the jammer. Um, and I need to do that. Oh, no. That's bad. That is very concerning. I need to shoot him. I need to swap with the jammer right now, actually. Because if I shoot him, these invincible men are going to, uh, are going to set off the alarm. There's no way I could possibly get to the pilot in time. Thank God I have some extreme range swappers. Okay, unconscious. Okay, this guy sees me. I have a quiet gun, which would alert those guys. So I cannot make use of the quiet gun. I need to get out of the range of these guys over here. Okay. Alright. And then I'll blast him. No alarm sounded. Deactivate the sentry gun. And then I will move up here. That guy is the guy with the glitch dash. So I'm just going to try and be a little bit sneaky. Okay. So I'm going to go past him. And then I'm going to blast his friend here. I'll also deactivate this jammer. Blast his friend, and then that'll cause him to teleport to me, and I can blast him too. So, I want to steal that thing, but more than that, I want those crates. Hmm. How do I get those crates? There's no safe way back. One thing I will do, just as a safety precaution... I'm going to blast out that window in case I need to re-enter because I really don't have a good way to get past that obstacle again. Um, oh, if I just shoot the captain, then the alarm can't sound anymore. I was worried about uh, alerting these guys over here, but because of the fact that I can murder the captain, it's a non-issue. Um, so what's the Churchini object? It looks like it's a key cloner. I think. So that triangle is either a key cloner. No, I think that's only ever a key cloner. So that's that's worthless for getting back through the ship. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to auto path into this room and then I'm going to remote control my pod to line it up right outside this door. And then I'm going to... Oh, damn it. I want to steal those crates, though, because I, I my equipment is quite lacking. That's going to take a lot of time. I spent a lot of time just messing around. Ah, oh, see, but that's so worth it. And then I can use this to steal the next crate. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that was absolutely worth it. I'm just going to stash every gun, because why not? Or almost every gun. <clears throat> so that mission took a long time. I spent a lot of time shooting out that one window, and, uh, and like trying to hide from people and safely navigate but didn't set off any alarms and i got both the crates the visitor is going to be useful because this is a steel character the swappers are of questionable i, I was one one thing i was thinking about doing on this next ship is the swapper trick which is where you get close to the ship and then you swap with a guy. You can't actually do that when you don't have a capture target or assassination target so i can't do that and also i'm glitch sick so that's yeah quiet guns are fine no silence guns but the stealth shield is going to really help so this next mission should be much easier we've got some melee guys with glitch dashes and some guys with guns the glitch dashers are as concerning as they were last time aside from the fact that i have much more weaponry and i did another weak oh my goodness i almost got myself blasted another unimpressive docking approach into almost getting blasted. Um, what am I trying to do? Uh, I could swap through. I just need that level 1 keycard, and I can't set off the alarm, because that's the clause. So I could, what I could do is I could visit behind those guys, and then, like, wake up, and then shoot them, but that's so... You have very little time visiting when you are glitch sick, I can't swap with one of them because then they'd just throw me out and that would waste a lot of time. So I just have to walk slowly around this corridor. Um, I could use the stealth shield to safely avoid this turret, but I am too evasive for that. There's no need to bother when I can just avoid bullets. See? No danger. Alright, so this guy is walking towards me, so I'm just gonna, there we go, blast him, and blast him, and I will go down to the bottom, because there's a crate down there, and I'm that close, so I might as well head in that direction. So, one thing to avoid is I don't want to shoot this barrel. No problems. And I'll yoink this keycard. So we've got another turret facing me in an inconvenient spot. So let's just carefully walk by. Okay. Oh, that's useful. And the turret's moving now, so we're fine. Deactivate. Um, I am too far for those guys to hear this gunshot, so I'll blast him. I'm just going to run by this... Oh, okay. Uh, I was going to run by the turret, but I, I messed that up. That's fine, though. Not an issue. I'll blast this guy. He'll teleport to me, and then I'll actually blast him. There we go. And then I want to steal this. Do I have any way to just, like, ignore the door? I have a visitor. That might be worth it. Um, what's the fastest way off this ship? So I could go up, and then visit down to the steel item? Yeah, I think that's the fastest, whoops, that's the fastest route, probably. Okay! Don't mind me. Ah, I was hoping that bullet would kill this guy, but alright. No, wait. Oops. 
Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay. I need to blast the... Okay. Um... I should be able to get to the... You know what? I'm just gonna... Oh, okay. I threw the gun at him. That's what happened. Okay. I need to get to the pilot in time to prevent... Oh, no. I was gonna say, I need to get to the pilot in time to prevent him from sounding the alarm, but... Then he sounded the alarm anyways. Whoops. I mean, I wanted to get to the pilot first, and so when I accidentally threw the thing, what I was actually trying to do was autopath over to the pilot to just get a little bit through the the guy with the wrench because he had he wasn't about he was pretty far from noticing me. So that uh, was a that was a big error. Um, other things I could have done, I could have just swapped with one of the guys, w with the other guy, to just get out of that situation. I could have visited away, but that would have... Well, no, I could have visited away and then yoinked the item. And then, even if they were still there when I visited back, they wouldn't have sounded the alarm because I would have been unconscious. It would have taken a long time, but at least I wouldn't have gotten a penalty. I could have used a stealth shield. Why didn't I use the stealth shield? I mean, the, the short answer is because I forgot I had it. But... Of course I should have used the stealth shield there. So that was... That was... Disastrous. Disastrously bad play. Just, it just, I, I, I it was just bad. It's just bad. It's fine, though. I'll get 450 points on this daily, and that'll be how it goes. Another terrible docking approach. My time wasn't going to be good anyways. My time, it, it, was, it wasn't going to be good anyways, you know? So it's like, it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter. Why did I come to this? I'm glitch sick. I'm not going to be able to get through there. So we don't want to sound an alarm. Oh, that's actually inconvenient, because that means I can't stealth shield through these guys. Oh, that's actually really bad. Like, I don't, I don't have a way to get through the ship. It's glitch-proof, so I can't just teleport in. There's the pilot. Huh. Huh. Okay, um, I think what I'll do is... I'd like to teleport past one of the obstacles. Well. You know, in retrospect, I think that this extreme range visitor might be the best way for me to get level 1 clearance. I need to do it before the jammer gets there and does something that I'll regret. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to grab level 1 clearance really quick. Don't mind me. Oh, I'm going to appear. Oh no, I'm, 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 uh, it's totally fine. Where I am is completely reasonable. Um, alright, so now I will take the ship back over to here. Ooh, there's a tracker in a bad spot for me. Uh, and I don't have a way to deal with this tracker. Ooh, if I throw a gun at him, then he will, uh, then the alarm will be sounded. So I really, really don't have a way to deal with this tracker. Um, I've already let him into the room. So, I'm in a jamming field, so it's not like I can use a jamming thing to get. Alright, well, I'm just gonna let the tracker... We're gonna play Ring Around the Rosies. I'm gonna go back to my ship. I'm gonna recharge my visitor, actually. stealthy for these people. Alright, I mean, time is not of the essence, because I already got that penalty, so... I'm just gonna really quickly just get some more of Visitor Juice. Let's check out this door. Okay, 
so there's a jammer here we don't have a way to kill him without sounding the alarm there is a door I can visit to here only have one use on the visitor though If I could visit down to this corridor? No, that wouldn't work. Oh, I can swap with the with the jammer. Or or with the tracker. I'll swap him into my ship and then I can that'll knock him out or that'll let me knock him out. Oh, actually, I'll be unconscious, so I won't be able to undock my pod. Hmm. Um the jammer is still placing jammers, which is annoying. I have an extreme range swap over there, two guys. Oh, if the jammer gets up here, then I can swap with him. All right, I'll wait. For, I'll wait for him to walk through the door. Oh, the tracker is gonna screw everything up, though. All right, well, I'll swap with the tracker because it looks like he's coming this way. All right, just need to wait for the tracker, and then switch. And then I want to pull out my ship. It looks like he got back in. That's annoying, but okay. Uh, I don't have a way to deal with the jammer. I don't have a way to deal with the tracker. Can I even turn off this jamming field? The tracker's gonna start coming after me. He sounds the alarm if he sees you, I think. I have the emergency shield so I can block shots that he shoots, but I think he sounds the alarm. All of these guys with heat sensors will sound the alarm if I get too close. If I could just get level 3 keycard access, I could shoot the guard out of the pilot seat, and then the alarm wouldn't be able to be sounded anymore. If I could just turn off this jamming field, I could switch with the, the pilot, and then the alarm wouldn't be able to be sounded anymore. I'm now stuck in the jamming field, I can't visit to where the pilot is. I could just go for the all-in play, and run down to the jamming device and then switch with the pilot right away. What's the range on this? I think I have to do that. I think that's the, oh gosh. Okay, I need to get, I need to get there in time. Don't sound the alarm. Don't, don't, don't sound the alarm. Please don't. Come on. Oh. Come on. I'm so close. Okay, emergency shield, come on, come on. Switch. Switch. Oh, no alarms. Oh, and I woke up. Okay, um, well now alarms can't be sounded anymore, so now I can all dick around with the stealth shield for my entire life. See, I'm, t I'm a master of stealth. Those guys didn't see me. I was too sneaky for them. Alright, so then I will... Oh no, they have a heat sensor. Will he throw me out of the ship if I... Um... If I switch with him? Right, I'm, just, I'm just breaking that window just so that I can... Just so I can get back there if I need to. You know? And then, actually, wait. No, they'll just throw me out of the ship. I'll just visit to it, steal it, and then just let them let them throw me out. That's totally fine. Yeah, good thing I broke that window. Yeah, easy. All right, that was absurdly dicey. Just, just ridiculously dicey. But it worked out. It was all okay in the end. So yeah. Oh, how wow. pretty quick relative to other people. I felt like I was taking a lot of time. Did I save? I didn't save any time. Did I save any time by setting off the alarm on the second mission? What did I, how did I set off the alarm even? I forgot. It was something stupid, I'm pretty sure. Something dumb and avoidable. Uh, what was it? It was... 
Oh, it was that I fucking I could have used my stealth shield. Yeah, the guy the guy glitch dashed to me. I could have just stealth shielded and then killed the pilot, and that would have prevented the alarm from being sounded. Yeah, so I pretty much saved no time by sounding the alarm in the second mission. So if I hadn't done that, if I realized I had a stealth shield, then I would have gotten the best score far and away at this juncture. So Oh, gosh, this has been a an ongoing theme across multiple dailies recently. Uh, style, that was a timed one. Style minus 10, style minus 10, style minus, minus 10. Yeah, that was, this is another timed one. This one. But, oh, man. Gosh. I had a stealth shield. That was, this, that was such an easy solution. If I had just taken stock of the situation, I, I was like, oh, I'll kill him. And then I'll quickly get to the pilot, and I'll kill the pilot, too. And it's like, that's it, it, just so... It's it's greedy. Or it's not even... It's not anything. It's just dumb, because that stealth shield use... It's not like I was a technophobe. It was going to come back as a rechargeable stealth shield. There's no reason to not use the stealth shield there. There's no there's no reason. There's no... It's just a strategically bankrupt decision. Tactically bankrupt decision, rather. I was just, ah, uh, ah, uh, why did I do that? Why, why, why? My my time is so much quicker. Like, I was really cutting it close on the last mission. I maybe wouldn't have gone for as absurd strategies as I did on this most recent mission if I knew that a good score was at stake. Uh, because I knew I was going to get a penalty, and one penalty and two penalties are really... The difference between those is, doesn't matter that much to me. But... Gosh, that's so disappointing. Again, why do I do these things? Why don't I just why don't I just read the items that I have and use them? Why don't I just use the items, you know? It's like on that on that other one where I was like a technophobe and it's like I got a crash beam. It's like and I walked right in front of the guy and then he shot me. It's like why didn't I just crash him and shoot him? You know? It's there's just there're just so many mistakes that just don't need to happen. They just, they're just unnecessary mistakes, you know? It's like sometimes there's just like bad strategies, and then there are unnecessary mistakes, like not using my stealth shield there when that guy glitched dash to me. It's like if, if I had messed up at the end there and gotten shot or sounded the alarm while I was trying to get to the pilot, it's like that would be indicative of a bad strategy, or at least a, a strategy that I had waited too long to execute because I let the guys walk out there. That would that would have been a bad strategy. It worked, so that means it's a good strategy, but it was a high risk, high reward strategy, and if it hadn't if it hadn't worked, then the risk wouldn't have paid off, right? Well actually that wouldn't make it a bad strategy. It'd make it an in, uh, that would mean that the risk went sour. But the point is, why why am I messing this stuff up? You know, it's fun. It's heat signature fundamentals. It's like I've gotten too wrapped up in shenanigans. And what I need what I need is I need to go back to fundamentals. And the fundamentals are you pause it and you look at your items and you use the items to get out of the situation. You don't do weird stuff like try and sneak right behind a guy with a body. Like I was doing on that other daily. It's, it's